Hey guys and welcome back to another Procreate tutorial to able to draw this cute Christmas tree in Procreate. It is super easy and I hope you will have a lot of fun. In this tutorial we'll use three different brushes. We'll use modeling brush, 6B pencil, both these brushes are Procreate original brushes and everyone should have them. And we'll use one more brush which is the star brush and uh, that's the brush I created and I will leave the link in the description so you can download it and use it as well. We'll also use this color palette which you can also download. I will leave a link in the description below. And now let's get started. And the first thing we we'll want to do is create a new canvas. So we'll go to this little plus sign up here and we'll click square. And it will take us to our canvas. And the first thing we'll have to do is just color fill the whole layer. So we'll go to the colors. We'll take this first blue and we will just drag our color into the layer and drop it. That would be our background. Now we'll create the Christmas tree and to do that we'll go to Actions, Canvas and turn on the drawing guides. Now we'll go to the Edit Drawing Guides and we'll click Symmetry. And we'll click Done. The next thing we'll do is create a snow. So we'll go on top, we'll create a new layer and name it Snow. We'll take light. If you double click in this area, the light, light area right here, it will take you to the purest white. If you double click in the darkest area, it will take you to the uh, black, pure black, but we want pure white. So we'll also make sure we're using the modeling brush. And all we have to do is just create the snow, kind of curvy line like this. We want to create this curve for the tree, so the tree will go here. Now we'll go and create a new layer. We will call it tree. So we'll create the Christmas tree in layers, so we'll create layer 1, 2, 3, and 4, and so on. So now we've created the layer for the for the first part of the tree, and to create the tree we'll also use the drawing guides. So we'll go to the actions, canvas, and we'll click drawing guides. And uh, mine is already a uh, symmetry, but if yours is not, you'll go to the uh, edit drawing guides and click symmetry, and then click done. Now we'll go and take this first green. So we'll create the first layer for the tree. So we'll start somewhere here, and all we have to do is create a curvy line like this, and connect it. Now make sure that it's connected and drop the color. Now we'll go and create a new layer underneath the tree one, we'll call it tree two. We'll turn on the drawing assisted layer, tap on it and go to the drawing assisted. Now you will see that it's an assisted. Also we'll go and take the second green and all we have to do is just actually repeat the process. So we'll again create a curvy line and connect it. Also don't forget to connect it this way and now you can color fill it. And here we go, the second layer is ready. Awesome, now we'll do the same thing, we'll create a new layer, we'll drag it underneath of everything, we'll call it tree 3, we'll take the next green, we'll also make sure it's a drawing assisted layer, and we will repeat the process. Don't forget to connect it. And here we go, the third layer is ready. Now we'll go ahead and create one more layer, the total number of layers will be 5. We'll take the next green and then we'll repeat this step. Don't forget to connect it this way. My third, uh, my fourth layer is ready and now we'll have to create one more. So we'll go ahead and create a new layer. I'll drag it underneath, name it 3, 5. I'll take the next green and I'll create my last layer. That's all, that's my Christmas tree. So now we'll just create the trunks. So we'll go and create a new layer underneath of everything. We'll call it trunk. We will take this brown. And all we have to do is just create a straight line down, connected, color fill it. So we created the basic shape for the, for the tree. Now all we have to do is just create some decorations, put some snow and presents underneath. So we'll start with adding some some shadows to the Christmas tree. So we'll go to the first tree right here. We'll take two fingers and swipe it to the right. We'll go and switch our brush to 6B pencil. We'll use these three colors right here. So we'll use this one first. 
So now all we have to do is just add some shadows and texture to the Christmas tree. So we'll go to the Christmas tree tool. We'll take two fingers and swipe it to the right. And all we have to do is just add a little bit of color underneath layer one. We will also add a little bit of color to the sides. Like this. Now we'll go to the layer number three. We'll take two fingers and swipe it to the right as well. We will also add a little bit of shadow underneath the uh, layer one, layer two, and add some to the sides. Now we'll go to the layer four, take fingers and swipe it to the right, and we'll add some colors underneath the, this layer. Now we'll go to the layer five, take two fingers and swipe it to the right. We'll do the same thing. So now each leg stands out. Now we'll go to the Christmas tree uh, number one, swipe it to the right to make it the alpha log, and we'll add a little bit of color here, and a little bit to the sides. Now we'll go ahead and add more shadows to each layer, so we'll go to the layer five first, we'll take this color, and we'll add more texture to the sides. Also switch to the darkest and add a little more. Now we'll go to the layer four. We'll use this color. And the same thing, we'll add a little more underneath the layer. So now we'll go to the layer three. We'll turn off the drawing assistant layer. And we'll add a little more to the underneath and a little more to the sides. Okay. Now we'll go to the layer two. Add a little more underneath the layer one and to the sides. And then we'll go to layer one. We'll turn off the drawing assistant thing and we'll just add to the sides. That's all. Now we'll go to the trunk. We will take two fingers and swipe it to the right. We will take this uh, brown right here. We will turn off the drawing assistant function and we'll add some shadow going this way. That's all. Now we'll go and add some decorations to our Christmas tree and the first one will be the star at the top. So we'll go on top of everything, we'll create a new layer, we'll call it star, we'll take this yellow and we will use the brush that I created for this tutorial, this will be the star brush and all we'll have to do is just put it on top on top of the Christmas tree. Now we'll add some texture and shadow to the star. So we'll take two fingers and swipe it to the right. Just to make it alpha log, we'll use the 6B pencil brush and we'll take this yellow. And all we'll have to do is just add a little bit of color to this area of the star. Now we'll switch to this color and add a little more. And we'll create a line, a line, a line, more and more, more and more here. Okay, now we'll go and add some decorations to the Christmas tree. We'll create a new layer, call it white light, and we'll switch to the dotted line brush, which I will also leave the link in the description below so you can download it for free. We'll take white and we'll create the Christmas lights. So we'll start over here and we'll go from this side to this side to this side and to this side. Now we'll go on top and we'll create a new layer. We'll call it yellow lights. We'll switch our brush to this yellow and we'll create the same the zip line to the other side. So we'll start here and go here and go this way and go this way and we'll finish here okay so we'll create the shadow underneath the lights so we'll go and create a new layer underneath the lights we'll call it light shadow we will take this color we'll switch to the 6b pencil all we have to do is create a line underneath one more here now going this way now we'll do the same for the uh, white lights and it's gonna go this way. And now 
will create the ornaments. So we'll create a new layer on top of everything. We'll call it ornaments. We'll take this red. We'll use the dotted line brush. We'll make it big. In random places, we'll put the ornaments, okay? So you can put them here, anywhere you like. Now we'll go to the ornaments layer, we'll take the finger swipe to the right, we'll use 6B pencil and we'll take this red and all we have to do is just make it a little more three-dimensional so we'll add a shadow to it. So like this, go to each ornament. And now we'll go and create a new layer underneath the ornament. We will call it ornament shadow. We're still using the 6B pencil and we'll take this darkest green. And all we have to do is create the shadow underneath the Christmas ball. So just take your pencil and just add a line like this. Here one more. Do a little bit right here. Now we're almost done with the Christmas tree. Now we'll go in and add some snow. So we'll go on top of everything and we'll call it tree snow. We will take white and we will take the monoline brush. And now we'll just put the snow on the tree. Go and create the similar shape and color fillet. That would be the snow. You don't have to be too careful because it's snow. So now we'll go to the tree snow layer, we'll take the fingers and swipe it to the right. We'll use the 6B pencil and we'll take this color. All we have to do is just add a little bit of shadow to the snow. Now we'll go underneath the tree snow layer and we'll create a new layer and we'll call it snow shadow. Awesome. We'll take this darkest green use the 6B pencil. Now we have to add the shadow underneath the snow and it's actually the same process as we did with the Christmas balls. All we have to do is just add a little bit of color underneath the snow. Done with the snow. We're almost done with the drawing. We have to add the presents and falling snow and we will be done. Okay, so we'll start with the presents. We'll create a layer on top of the trunk layer. We'll call it present one. It's up to you how many presents you will have. I will probably have five or six presents and we'll use the snow one brush and we'll use this colors underneath. You can use any of them. I will start with the red and all you have to do is just create a rectangular. Right. Now just color fill it, we'll put it here. Now I'll go on top and create present two. I will take this color and I'm just creating the rectangular shape. I'll create the new layer and I'll call it present three. So I will go and create a square. I'll go and create a new layer on top of everything. I will call it present four and I'll create the present right here. I'll duplicate this layer and rename it present 5. It's here. I will create one more present, so I'll create a new layer and call it present 6. And I'll put the present here. Cool. Now I have my presents ready. I'll just have to add some texture and some ribbons. Then we'll go and switch to 6B pencil. We'll go to each present. We'll start with this red one. We'll take the pinky swipe it to the right. We will take the darker red. We'll just add a little bit of texture. Now we'll go to the purple, stick to purple and make it slightly darker. We'll just add a little bit of texture, especially here. Now we'll go to the pink one and we'll add shadows at the bottom. Awesome, now we'll go to this present. We'll take this color, sample it and make it darker. Okay, now we'll go to this present and we'll just add some shadows here. Awesome! Now we'll just have to add the ribbons. So we'll go to each present. We'll create a clipping mask for it. We'll take the modeling brush and you can add ribbons any color you want. I uh, will go with yellow for this one. And go right down. Down here. Now I will go to other presents. Almost done. Now we'll go and create a new layer on top of all the presents. We'll call it ribbons. Then we'll go to each present and add those cute little things. 
So we'll add the shadow underneath the presence. So we'll go under under the presence. We'll create a new layer. We'll call it present shadow. So we'll use this color. And all we have to do is just create an oval underneath. Color fill it. Now we'll just go and switch to the 6B pencil and to white. And we'll add a little bit of snow to the sides. We'll switch to this color and we'll add some shadow directly underneath the presence. So here. The presents are also ready. Now we'll just have to fix the snow. So we'll go to the snow layer. We'll take white, make sure you're using the 6B pencil. And all we have to do is just add a little line at the edge so it's, the line is not as straight. To look like real snow. There we go. Now we'll have to create the snowflakes and the falling snow. So we'll go on top of everything. We'll create a new layer. We'll call it snowflake. We're using the 6 bit pencil. We'll create one snowflake and then we'll duplicate it. And all you have to do is create a line. Duplicate this line and turn it. Duplicate this line and turn it. Get this line and turn it. The snowflake is almost ready. Now we'll just add some details. So we'll create the circle in the middle. Awesome, now we we'll just have to connect all of the snowflakes into one layer, so we'll merge them and duplicate it and move it to the other side. Duplicate it again in this way. Now we'll merge the snowflakes into one layer and now we'll just add the falling snow. So we'll use the 6B pencil, we're still using white, and all they have to do is just add snowballs like this. Now we'll, we'll go back to the background color and we'll add a little bit of color to it. So we'll go to the background, we'll create a layer on top, we'll switch to the modeling brush, make it big. We'll take this light color and we'll add a line right here. We'll go back to the colors and we'll take this color and we'll add a line right here keeping the background color in the middle so now we'll go to the adjustments gaussian blur and blur these colors together we'll go around 30 down and our drawing is ready now we'll go to the actions we'll turn off the drawing guide and our drawing is ready we have created this cute christmas tree in procreate it was super easy but also very fun to draw this illustration i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you had a lot of fun and i'll see you next time